What's up y'all? Thank you for all my new subscribers and thank you for all of those that have stuck around this long. Um, if you're new to this video or me, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It, it helps me continue to talk to myself and eventually somebody listen. So today what we're going to do is I had this $30 LED strip that came with a switch, fuse, everything that you'd need. Um, it's supposed to be for your bed. I put it in my truck bed, but it was so bright that I literally couldn't even work in there without being absolutely blinded. So I'm going to be taking this $30 LED strip, which I'll have a link in the description below, and with just a few tools, I'm going to turn it into everything. I am going to use it for an additional backup light, my rock lights, my step lights. I already have a video made that you can go check out that is a cab light and that uses the, the button switch from this and then the LEDs. Um, yeah, that's it. We'll see, but super simple. Um, same process works with the multicolored LEDs. Um, a lot more wire, but same process. So what you're gonna see here is if it will focus, you've got your positive, your green, red, and blue, I believe. Yeah. So it's gonna work the same way as this. I just did that. And then to keep it all together, I just have little tiny one inch sections spread out throughout the whole thing. This is going to be my interior lights. I found it, found the roll of these for ten dollars so ten dollars is ten dollars and yeah I decided to turn this into an absolute mess that's gonna light up my truck hopefully a little bit better than it already is we'll see but all you really need for this project is a razor blade of some kind. I like the little paint scraper razor. Um, it's real nice, real accurate. You can use scissors, whatever, just as long as you can cut it. Again, I like the razor blade because it's more precise because you don't have much to work with as you will shortly see. You don't have to have this big set of shrink wrap. It just kind of makes it look better I I'm still up in the air on it if not it's just gonna look like this um, they're hidden well for the most part so doesn't really matter um, but you will need some silicone I will put a link in the description for something along the lines of this uh, I usually put all my links at for Amazon so no matter where you are you can you can get it and then if you don't have this you will need it it's going to be a soldering gun and I found this kit that has everything you need that's not too bad priced comes with a stand soldering iron bunch of tips it also has your plunger which will be possibly be good for whenever you're wiring this up it it has instructions on how to do it but you just melt the solder a little bit set the plunger and then press the button while the solder's melted and it just sucks it right up um, magnifying glass comes with a couple other things and then I like to use the bigger solder wire um, 
I don't know if you can see it's pretty old I've had this one for a while so I'll put a link in the description for the solder we got our little razor and I've already counted out what I need um, I'm gonna do it in 12 LED sections but you can make it wherever there is one wherever there is one of these I, I don't know if you can tell but those are supposed to be scissors so it's telling you to cut down that line so anywhere there is that line cut you can cut if you know that you're not gonna be soldering on both sides then you can you know give yourself a little bit extra and either cut to one side or the other but make sure you have enough at least on one side um, you don't have to wire both ends you can just wire the one side the way the LEDs work it's just a light emitting diode a current goes through it it lights because of the current flowing through it that's all there is to it um, it's not going to take more than it can handle and that's what's so great about leds so we're going to go through and i'm going to cut it into 12 bulb led sections and then we'll go from there so let's get started since this has already got the wire on the beginning i'm just going to cut heavy onto this side so as you can see I'm not cutting the line I'm cutting before it as long as you can see those little nubs of copper which these are old so I'm gonna have to clean those off so you'll be able to see them better later but if it's new it's really bright so I'm just gonna cut it And you can see that this one has solder on it, so that's really nice. It makes it a lot easier on the on the wire up. So again, it's going to be harder to cut through the solder. So it's kind of nice that you get it on this end. And here you go. This little shorter one can be a nice little backup light for you. That way you can actually see a little bit better. So, now that we turned that $30 LED strip into seven pieces, so 14 in total, now we have 14 LEDs to do whatever we want with. And I will say that You need to tape this off because if you're not doing it right away well actually even if you're wiring it right away you just want to tape it up that way the strip doesn't fall out because it's not being held in there now it's just a sleeve so you can take this out do it do whatever you want with it so you just want to tape it up especially whenever you get into the four strand multicolor those you really have to tape up because if you get one of those backwards it's all messed up So one thing I forgot to mention, you're gonna want, don't need, but want some uh, safety flux. You can either get this at uh, any hobby store that does glass work, or again, I'll have an Amazon link, I'm sure, 
with uh, some other type of flux, but that's gonna make it so much easier to solder in the wires. So, with that said, let's get started. What you have is the beginning of the LED strip where you don't have to wire the other end. So we're gonna be taking the silicone and just filling up that hole with the very end. Um, So now we're going to take the 20 gauge wire, a link for this will be in the description below, and I'm just cutting it in one foot sections, that way, you know, I have plenty of room to play with, whether I need to cut it short or, you know, add to it, it's, it's fine. And you're going to do this for the count of LED strips that you have. I've got seven, so of course, math, I'm gonna cut out seven. Then take your wire strippers, either, you know, fancy ones like this or the regular ones work. Uh, just split it apart if you have the other ones, so that way you can do each individual wire. Then we're going to take the wire and split it up and just twist the end so it's easier to solder. Then we're going to turn on the soldering iron and put it up to about 400 celsius get some of the flux and i use a shot glass and a paintbrush then i'm using the smaller white wire and you're just going to barely dab just heat it up walk it up and down it you don't need all of that so you can cut the ends on it and just rinse and repeat I like to use dental picks sometimes whenever I'm cleaning this stuff up, but just add the flux, then dab it on. That side, the flux had already melted. As you can see, it's a pain to get that on there. So add a little bit more flux and just sticks to it. see how this end there isn't much to it well we're gonna swap that over and luckily the other side is the right side so go back to scraping it all clean Okay, so my camera messed up, and luckily I realized after I got all this set up that it didn't record any of that. So, I just have it taped up up here, and then I got some tin snips and a can just to cut that down a little bit, to slide it in between the plastic and the LED film. So I just slid that into there and that will keep this back part. That will keep this back part from melting. Then I have the wires taped on there. 
In automotive wiring, red is always going to be your positive or hot wire, and black is going to be your negative or your ground wire. So we're gonna make sure that those are lined up really nice on there. I've already got some flux, but we'll put a little bit more just because. Then, since this is the bigger wire that I'm using, it takes a little bit longer to heat up and melt on there, but all you just want to do is get a little ball on there and then slowly go in and let it connect. You're going to burn a little bit, but it's nice and in there, so again, put the flux in there, wipe the tip off, just get a nice little dab on there. Then again, put it back down in there. Let it settle. Looks a little bit rough, but it will clean up whenever we put the silicone in it, which will be next. So, then you fill it with silicone. Make sure it gets in there real nice. Roll it over. Get the back. Make sure that there's no leaks in it. You don't want to let water be able to get into there. The kind, the silicone that I'm using is really flexible, so it has a pretty nice seal. But you want to make sure that it's coated. Then there you go. You can either leave it like this, or you can wrap the end just to give a little bit more peace of mind to you. Um, it doesn't matter either way. This is safer, of course, because there's an extra level of precaution, but you don't have to. So that being said, have fun watching me do the rest of these. So once you got everything wired up, you're just going to take it, even it out as best as possible, and then fill it all full of silicone. So I'll just get back to you whenever I'm done with this. Well, actually, you all enjoy the time lapses, don't you? Let me know in the comments below. And that's all you need to do. Um, it's super simple to wire up any LED light. Uh, it's all the same basic concept. 
So, if you would like to watch what I'm going to do with all of these, then go ahead, like it, comment, and subscribe, and I think I might do, I think I might do the rock lights next. No, nah, I'll do the reverse light. Well, if anything, comment down below and tell me which one I should do. Got rock lights, step lights, reverse lights. Interior lights. Yeah, I got that one too. And I can't think of anything else. So if you could, then why don't you go ahead Put the comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye for now. But wait, there's more. For those of you that actually stuck around for this whole video, I'm going to show you the trick to actually being able to wire up those the multicolored LEDs. And here. So, as you can see, this is just silicone covered. So, whenever you cut it, you can't really get to those. If you take a razor and just barely cut down, and then cut right above the strip, if you work on the edge and then go, you go through that way, you can get to those copper pieces and they're a lot easier to actually wire up because they're sealed like this so you don't get any of the corrosion like you did from these. So that's your extra tip. Um, thank you again for everyone that actually watched this. Really appreciate you all and uh, see you on the next video. Bye bye.